Every time I've worked on a project, I get to a point where I want to share it with someone. So I package it, test it out, only to realize that I can't pause or quit the game. There's no main menu or any functionality that most games have. So I end up creating one, but this happens with every project and I end up wasting so much time. This led me to create the HUD component. Within one minute, you can have a main menu, pause, game over, health, stamina, magic, damage, and so many more essential elements with ease. Aside from that, it's also extremely customizable. I've set it up so that everything can be modified in the component, allowing you to minimize the amount of windows you have to navigate. I want to disclose that I'm always updating and improving my assets to look as good as possible, but I really aim this at being used for prototyping and simplicity to allow you to just have working menus and HUDs when you're trying to share your game. You may just use this for prototyping and scrap it to build your own. Just wanted to put that out there. Before we take a look into the features, let's see how it works out of the box. We're going to start on the main menu level, simulating as if our player is launching the game for the first time. So those were the splash screens and now we're on the main menu. We can navigate our options using the mouse, keyboard, or controller. At the moment, the options screen allows you to change the volume of the overall music, which we can lower for now. Let's hit new game. Now we're loaded into our first level. Before we explore, let's save our game and return to the main menu. Notice that we also have confirmation pop-ups to prevent any accidental choices. Now our main menu shows additional buttons as a save has been detected and we can load into our game or start a new one. Also note how the splash screens didn't appear again as they'll only appear when the game launches. Let's load back and notice that our player's location and camera angle has been saved. If we cross into this ring, we get this notification window that will autocomplete and remove itself. The next notification will stay on our screen and can be hidden with the N key. The green ring will complete whatever notification is active. These rings over here will damage our player, where one damages on any overlap and the other is when the player is overlapping and on the ground. So if we jump over it, they don't get hurt. We can use the H key to use magic to heal ourselves and taking damage, sprinting and using magic will deplete these meters here and will auto generate but also have their own settings that can be modified. You've probably noticed that when our player gets hurt, they play a vocal and damage sound. Screen shake is applied and blood splatter also shows up. There are multiple categories within the component that you can tweak. The other cool thing is the game over sequence that plays when the player's health reaches zero. Let's manually inflict damage with the G key and apply the last bit with fall damage. Now we get this simple death screen where if we hit continue, we load our last save. If you notice, we're not at the same spot from when we loaded from the main menu. And that's because triggering notification rings will save the player's location. And that's pretty much it in terms of what's included. Aside from these other ring examples that trigger level changes and rings that don't disappear once overlapped. Opening up the component I'll quickly show some of the variables that's included and briefly explain how things work. I've done my best to name the variables as plainly as possible while also including detailed descriptions when you hover over them. They also have emojis associated to whatever they're linked to. First thing are the splash screens. These appear if we are starting on the main menu in the editor, or at least when the game is launched. The system checks for what the main menu level name is when you enter it in here. You can then turn it on or off and specify how many you want, along with their own settings like duration, time before showing the next image as they fade out, the works. Then there are general settings associated with the gear icon. They're pretty self-explanatory. You can easily set up which key do what here and then customize buttons here. The button customization is currently set up to change all of them. As mentioned, this is for prototyping, so I didn't go too crazy into making every button customizable and different, but if people are reaching out saying that they want it, I can definitely add it. Notifications can be globally modified here, but the logic is set up so that if interaction rings have different font settings, it's going to use those instead. There's also spacing for the buttons to where you can have global spacing or individually specify it per button or a combination of both. I'll get back to these settings here in a sec, but we also have resolution, fade, audio, damage, and death settings. I'll explain more in depth on each section in future videos, but one thing I want to highlight is the song group. If you open it up, you can see that you're able to specify songs according to each level by name and the game over song as well. Going back to these settings here, this is the real meat and potatoes of the system. 
Each controller category is a menu system, and adding to the arrays gives you more buttons with fields that can run logic. The gears will format each menu group, and I'm making a separate video on this, but in short, when you add a button, the button name is fed into the HUD widget string switch and runs whatever logic you want afterwards. But say you want a button to be named something short and simple, but the function might be something more specific and longer. That's what the second field down here is good for, as the system will then use the second text field instead. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. Again, this is made to be a prototype, not necessarily something you ship with. I mean, you can, but I'll still be touching this up and improving on things. Feel free to check out the roadmap and the documentation to see what I have in mind. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out through the comments or on my Discord. I'll see you later. Bye.